Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Carla. Today I'm going to be sharing with you week nine of my postpartum weight loss and mental health journey and I am so excited to be sharing this with you this week because I have hit quite a milestone. I'm going to jump right in and talk to you about the results, the feelings and observations that I've made this week. But if you'd like to check on the entire journey, I'll leave a playlist up here and you guys can, can watch that if this is your first time ever stumbling upon me. As I said, I'm going to jump right into the results. And this week I am down 2.2 pounds or one kilo, which brings my total to 25.4 pounds. The reason that that is awesome and very exciting for me is because I now weigh 161.1 pounds and that might seem like a really random amount to you and if you caught my um, uh, rewarding myself through weight loss video last week I actually realized I forgot to include this massive milestone on it which is really funny because it's my namesake when I reach, uh, when I reached it this morning, I realized I am half of Carla again. I have now lost half of my original starting weight from January 2020. This is really exciting for me because it's my namesake, and I'm really glad to to have it back again. It honestly, it didn't even dawn on me that I didn't have it. I will always be half of Carla to me, but uh, yeah, that's I have reached that now. I've lost eleven and a half stone. Uh, I've lost 162 point something pounds and I'm half of Carla and I'm freaking delighted about it. Uh, it's just really nice to, to have that uh, again. My feelings for this week are re-energized. Uh, I spoke to you last week um, about my mental health journey and how I had been struggling through my period and I was definitely feeling a bit rough mentally. However, last week I had a really, really good week. I knew that the scales hadn't moved, but in between this week, my actual week nine has been really good. It's been really positive. I've had a really nice time with friends and family over the last week. And it's just, it's shown me that I can do this and live a life um, outside of lockdown, you know, that I can live my life. I can work with people, I can um, socialize, I can enjoy and celebrate moments and not be concerned about the scales. And that's really, after last week, I definitely feel re-energized, which is wonderful. I know that I'm ovulating now, so I'm a little bit on the more bloated side. However, I generally feel a lot more re-energized mentally. I also want to just jump back into the results, the, the scale results. I've lost 2.2 more pounds. So last week I had a gain of 0.8 of a pound. I don't count that. Uh, I know that that is only uh, water weight and bloat. It's not fat. So I don't consider that to, so at that point, I think I had lost 20 something pounds. Say I'd lost 20 pounds. I don't then say I've actually only lost 19.2 pounds. I know that I still lost 20 pounds, but I'm holding water weight. And what that does for me is that doesn't give me that mental step back because I know it's not fat. I know that I've done everything that I've needed to do. That to me is not fat and I know it's not fat. So it's not a gain as in I went out and I ate McDonald's all day, then I probably would have gained 0.8 of a pound. But I know that that was just water weight. So I don't go and count that as a gain for my weight. Um, so I have now, say if I lost 20 pounds or I can't do the math, but I will now add the 2.2 that I've lost this week. And that's my total. So I'm not taking a step back. I consider it almost like a maintain because even though it has a plus on the scales, I know it's not fat. And that's what's important in terms of weight is the fat composition, not your water. So re-energized after last week is definitely the feeling that I'm holding and feel so good. I'm a little bit more tired physically. Um, I have had less childcare this week. I've had nearly none. 
and therefore I am trying to do an awful lot with a baby. However, I know that I'm prioritizing myself always. So I'm always getting up early, getting out for my walk so that it sets me up on the right path for the day. That walk and feeling that way is not just about weight loss for me. That's my mental health aspect of my journey. That is ensuring that I'm showing up for myself that is something that I enjoy. That is my time to myself to get lost in my thoughts where nobody disturbs me, nobody talks to me. And really, we very rarely have that kind of time period, do we? Especially as moms or dads. But in our busy lives, people are constantly speaking to us. So I really enjoy that feeling in the morning of just having that as my time to myself. And I know that, sorry, there's a dog. And I know that in in um and i know that for my mental health that that's really important even though i am physically tired because of i'm doing an awful lot i'm mentally feeling quite good in terms of observations i kind of alluded to it there at the start but i'm definitely finding that i'm able to live a life in weight loss which is really going to stand to me in weight maintenance I was able to go out twice this week. Actually, I ate out three times this week now that I think about it and still had a loss. But it's the choices that I made that I knew. And I asked myself that question every time. Will this bring me closer to or further from my goal? I'll leave a picture here of the salad that I had on uh, Thursday when I was out with my friend. And then that was a really easy choice for me. And then I'll also leave a picture here. We went for brunch with my brother for his birthday and we had uh, Virginity, which is one of my favourite restaurants. It's probably my favourite restaurant in Dublin at the moment. And we had, I looked at the menu beforehand and I picked what I was going to have. And I ordered a like a vegan chicken parm with uh, a side salad, but they actually gave me the chips that were served with it. I ate three chips. I was like, they're nice. I, you know, that's chips or fries if you're uh, in the States. I was like, okay, these are like, I've had them now. That's it. And I gave them to the rest of the table. And while it was slightly challenging to hand them over, I was like, no, I don't need these. I have a beautiful thing here. I have an amazing salad. It was like just pickled salads. If you caught me before, you know, that's my kind of jam. And then they had dessert and I had a mouthful of each of the desserts that were there. There was three desserts and I had a mouthful of each and I enjoyed it. And I said, OK, that's enough. And then we were going for brunch on Sunday with other friends. And I went, I had, um, I'll take a picture here. I'll insert a picture here. I had the vegan big breakfast. I asked for it with no bread because uh, I don't eat bread most times because it's just empty calories. And I would much rather have something more satisfying um, and I ate till satisfied I didn't have all my beans because I just they don't sit that well with me I ate the sausages the piece of vegan pudding oh, of course this is vegan and the tomatoes and mushrooms and a little bit of the avocado so I know that I'm able to go and do this in weight loss so when I'm in weight maintenance I know I'm going to be able to make choices that I will enjoy and like I did not feel in any way deprived but I and I actually felt really energized. I felt really good. I felt a little bit full after my meal on Saturday and uh, when I had the chicken parm because it was it was fried. So I knew it was going to be heavier. But generally, I felt really good and I did not feel deprived, which is fantastic. In terms of other observations, I have to say that spending time with people is really important to me and also getting to share my joy with other people has been wonderful and trying to encourage others. Um, I spent a lot of time um, on Thursday, I spent the whole day with uh, my friend Jeanette and I have a vlog coming about that. And we went shopping and to bring her out and she has lost a lot of weight and she's lost 50 kg, to bring her out and to like get her to try on clothes for the first time in store ever was such a joy and it really invigorated me as well. And it just brought me so much joy to, to share that with, with a friend. And then I got to try on clothes that I like haven't ever been able to sh to try on in store. And I w that's all in that vlog and that's coming next, 
coming on Wednesday, I think, if I can get the scheduling right, that's coming on Wednesday, so uh, I hope you guys watch, like, enjoy that and watch it, um, but it's just, it's such a lovely feeling to be able to share that with somebody and to to share with people and I think that as part of the mental health journey you know as uh prior to weight loss I wasn't that much of an outgoing and sharing person and that's totally changed through weight loss like weight loss is like the the biggest benefit of weight loss is never actually losing weight it's everything else that comes with it and there is my bingo wing flapping like this is real life you know this is what happens so but um yeah it's just it's lovely to be able to share that with somebody so i think guys that's all i have for you for this week somebody actually um made a really good request i can't remember your name i'm so sorry and asked would i share at the end of these videos an outfit that i'm able to get back into again so i'm going to do a cutaway now show you this dress so this fits me again which is very exciting it is uh it's nobody's child from asos it's a size 12 and there is like no give on it whatsoever so it's um yeah it needs it needed to fit properly but like i could get it up but i just have it now so that it's not gaping in any way so i'm delighted to be back in this it is it's hard to show you so i can't go back far enough there we go it's midi length and i'm wearing it with my favorite witchy boots which also fit again so yeah chuffed with that i hope you liked that outfit that's one of my favorite ones from um my pre-pregnancy goal wardrobe um it's it is the dress that i'm wearing now but you you'll see it um <laughs> but i really really love i love it i love where it's just yeah it's it's just gives me that pep to be able to get back into it um, if there's anything that you would like me to include in these videos, please leave suggestions down in the comment um, box down below. Please make sure you are subscribed. Oh, and if there's any other videos that you would like me to make of you and other suggestions, please leave it down below. I am doing a Q&A as well in the coming weeks. So please leave any comment and um, questions if there's something burning that you're asking uh, that you wanted to ask, pop it down there, any video suggestions and leave me a what emoji will we do today? What have we got? Oh, let's do like one of those little bang ones because for the bang that I have on my my dress. Okay, guys, um, thank you so much for always watching and for sticking with me. I appreciate it so much. Please share this with anybody that you think uh, could benefit and I will talk to all of you in a few days. Bye. Speaking of which, I need to drink some. If you haven't yet, get your water for the day.